Well, anyways, this group that I found on my own accord called yes, Femcells. Fem cells. Do it's they a, like? Do they like men? Well, they don't really like men, but I do you like. Think there'll ever be an incel femcel wedding? Oh, now we are talking. You may now punch the bride. <laughs> Oh, well, shit. they were, it sort of relates to this, you know, Barbie stuff or whatever. And I actually, to be honest, I don't, I always like people that are, even if I disagree with their thing, you know, that thing with comedy or art where people say, you know, I don't really care that much if it's true. I care more if it's honest. And that yeah. means that I care more that like, this is what you think. Mm -hmm. And the problem with a lot of the stuff, I guess it gets murky where people can convince themselves things, but there is a lot of it where it's like, this isn't even what you think. You just were told this and now you're repeating it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, with the feminist, so basically the liberal feminist notion of supporting women and feeling positive all the time is disingenuous. I'd rather be able to talk about being ugly than try to convince myself I'm pretty. Now, so that's what they're saying. They're saying to these like other feminists, like, hey, because they're like, you are fucking beautiful. And they're like, no, I'm not. I, listen, I'm 300 pounds. I know I'm not the hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, but then they're also like, uh, here's the Sports Illustrated swimsuit cup. Uh, but they feel patronized by this shit. For sure. It's kind of like, you know, there was a, uh, uh, there'll always be, you know, a lot of times you'll see like black content creators that are telling, you know, these people like stop. They'll be like, oh, they're so racist. They don't even, they you didn't even realize they were messing with you. And they'll be like, yeah, I'm not stupid. Like, stop. Yeah, of course. Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. So basically it's the same thing where these people, it's this, it's well, this so like, look, I know I'm gross. Well, you have this hot fucking Hollywood, mo you know, Hollywood chick or something going up to these like 400 pound girls being like, you are beautiful. And it was like, then she goes back to her rich dude husband in a mansion and the girl goes back to her, you know. And also she cave. is conventionally beautiful. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, she, she goes, I'm not stupid. Yeah. It's like a dude. It's like a dude. If you know how girls sometimes be like, I need tall guys or whatever. It's like going to a guy that's like four foot tall and being like, you actually are just as tall as anybody. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, I'm not tall. Like I might fucking be able to get hot chicks. Yeah. I'm like, whatever. I'm not a worse I'm person. Cool I'm not a and, bad person. You could be cool and fucking jacked. I know lots of guys. You think fucking Justin Silver ain't, you know, he's pretty short. He fucking does good with girls. It's not Tons like, yeah. are, I don't know. Danny DeVito crushing puss. Uh, Vladimir Zelensky. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Guy fucking crushes Tang, by more, yeah, more like Z Vladimir uh, Zepen fifteen is hard. Crush Tangski, <laughs> crush Tangski. <laughs> Vladimir crush Tangski is pretty good. <laughs> Vladimir smash Tangski. Vladimir Budangski. <laughs> Budangski. <laughs> yeah, but again, Budang it doesn't make you a bad How about that, Budang person. Skeet? Although I will say, I will be fucking impressed with these fem, fem cells if they figure out how to rent a van. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I like the fem cells because they're they just they're for themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, respect, I respect what they're doing in the movie. But honestly- I want to have some fem from, cells on from, the boys, um, You know, we both have degrees in economics, right? Mm -hmm. From a just- and I have, yeah. The, I have the, a the black, better, black belt degree. Whatever, whatever. A fucking white belt. <laughs> whatever, yeah. But, you, you know, <laughs> just belt. from a very basic standpoint, you go, look- if you just take all the fem cells, you probably think the fem cells and the incels probably a similar amount of people. No, no, you're. Uh, I'll tell you what you're mixing and then, up. And then one they, thing though, incels think that they deserve like nice tang. You know what I right. mean? Right. No, no, no. Oh, incels, oh, the fem cells don't think. I don't they deserve. think. Well, I don't. I haven't done my deep dive yet. I think they do. I think no. I don't think they're just like we're gross, homely chicks who d deserve nothing. <laughs> That's what I gather from the. No, they go. Line. It's the same. They go. We deserve more. But if it's like the. If they could just Take get them all in one room, like for a fucking, like, That's you know, a, a, an eighth grade dance, <laughs> they'll all match up with one another and the subreddits will just be barren and they'll all have to be like, you yeah. know what? This ain't so bad after all. I think the incels aren't going to be, you go, like, you imagine you're this incel and you go, these fucking women and they're sluts and hoes and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you know what I mean? They're taking down the white man and this and that. And you go, uh, I know you're mad about all that stuff, but how about you get this 350 pound whale honestly think about this this way there's so many crazy fucking okay, reality well, shit. there's so many crazy reality shows and she right? hates man you take fucking 10 incels mm -hmm. 10 fem cells and mm -hmm. you put them on a fucking island now so listening. they can't go anywhere there's no van rentals <laughs> no van rental no places so there are uh, no weapons nothing someone's getting stoned 
No, no coconuts. They get rid of all the coconuts. So okay. there's just it's just them, and they have to hang out. And those guys, they're like, I'm never having sex. I hate women. Those women are like, I'm never having sex. I hate men. And then you just force them to be together. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, they're all smashing by the end of it. Uh, by the end of it, they're all smashing. They go, you know what? This is better. This is still better than just okay. being an angry loner. Mm -hmm. You know, there's mm -hmm. more to life than looks. And they just, you know, I, I think at least a few of them. Well, I will pitch this next time. And then the winner wins a, a, a van rental place. <laughs> You win your own van rental company. No, you're going to be the fortune moderator <laughs> for a week. <laughs> Anything goes. Did you, I did. Uh, I've been doing the joke about uh, like uh, how it's harder to have Bible stories because you know God used to be really into miracles, splitting the sea and everything, and then he kind of stopped. Now he doesn't. He haven't done. But the most miracles he does these days is generally like, oh, you know, he puts Jesus in a coffee or something like that, right? What What are you talking about? Fucking. Uh, you ever heard of a guy named Joe Biden and his seventy eight <laughs> million votes? What do you mean God doesn't do miracles? That's gonna be crazy, dude. <laughs> crazy man. <laughs> How about Zabinski? Oh no, there's a big skeet. There's <laughs> a big skeet. Vladimir is a big skeet. <laughs> so he's got <laughs> <laughs> skeet, skeet, skeet. Um, no, but <laughs> I've been talking about that because he's basically like uh, he he's big in it. I think he's because he you know he's he's like married now. Because back in the day, you're like you know you're trying to split the seed, trying to get some tang or whatever. And then his wife's like, "Why don't you split the sea again?" And he goes, "And what? Fuck you again? Like what am I doing <laughs> any of this shit for?" Right? <laughs> but, but he goes, "I, I was like, look, you know, I split the sea." To just impress you. I split the sea to impress you. Yeah, and then I got you. No, I split the sea to impress your you sister. You know how tired I get after splitting the sea? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was exhausting, that is. But I've been saying that uh, the reason is because of Google, probably, because, you know, I, I think I even might have said this on the podcast where it's like, you know, David and Goliath, that if you look it up, it would be like this, you know, six foot, you know, four foot five guy took down this seven foot guy. And then if we had now, you'd be look up the guy's height and be like, yeah, he's six two and that's Hollywood. So it's yeah, yeah. pretty big. But, yeah. and I was saying if this was, if it was now. Wait, you're saying that some Jews might have well, been no, hyperbolic no. about the size that's what I was going of David with. versus Goliath? I was saying Goliath? if now Goliath would get to go on Tucker Carlson and tell his side of the story. <laughs> he goes, I'm minding my own business. And a bunch of Jews started throwing rocks at me because I told uh, them not to raise his the rent. Fucking, his Palestine t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. If if Goliath free would get, uh, Goliath's free Palestine <laughs> on fucking C no, he's on CNN. Goliath's on CNN. Free I guess now free Palestine CNN. shirt. Yeah. And then Tucker Carlson's like, David, so tell us why did <laughs> you he have David on? <laughs> <laughs> we have David on. From David versus Goliath. Yeah. David, uh, I hear you have a new line of slingshots coming out. Is that is that true? <laughs> I can't decide. Goes, yes, though. yes, Tucker. They're made in America. They're American I feel made like slingshots. I feel like Goliath is more the working man. I feel like I feel like you got it wrong. The Tuck, Goliath would be on Tucker Carlson because he was like, "Yeah, I was just doing my daily routine of breaking rocks, and you know, I had these bunch of these guys came up and you know told me I had to pay more interest or whatever." Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like those guys would be more on CNN. Yeah, yeah. And, and then and they then would be like, to, you know, Tucker Carlson's no, like, isn't that uh, usury? And he goes, "It is Tucker. <laughs> that is usury. Yeah. That's what I was saying." <laughs> That's what, right and then the the thing is they they, they try and avoid any sort of anti-semitism stuff i know Carlson, so you're they right wouldn't, they wouldn't touch it it would go the other way okay so then i don't know if my analogy works as it's close good, it's, no it does for the most part they it doesn't fit perfectly because the anti-semitism <laughs> <laughs> someone would be on Tucker and someone would be on anderson cooper someone would be i feel you you think goliath would be talking to no because there's no, no racial or sexual no sexism david, component david would be like guys. a based fucking like based jew like based orthodox jew why is he a based orthodox jew because he's on tucker carlson but but he's not though he was just like you know some guy Goliath came in, and they're saying Goliath was bad, but I've, you know. But again, the the, the history is written by the victors. Mm -hmm. That's right. why he gets to, and exactly, he gets to tell his side of the story. And Anderson Cooper would not be interested in that because there's no racial component. Right. <laughs> Thank you for watching that clip, supporting the channel. If you like The Boys Cast, there's a new episode every week at patreon.com slash The Boys Cast. That's patreon.com slash The, the Boys, Boys Cast. Cast.